Hi, I am Simon. Welcome to Arsenal iPhone. In this video, I will be reviewing the Enet A6 Do It Yourself 3D printer. It arrives unassembled and safely packaged with protective foam to make sure no parts get damaged during shipping. Included in the kit is everything you need to assemble the printer successfully. They even provide you with the necessary tools and a spool of filament, which is great. Before we start to assemble the printer, insert the included micro SD card because it does contain very valuable information such as building instructions, how to configure the software and files for calibrating the printer. Removing the protective paper of all the acrylic parts was tedious and unnecessary work so unless you like the appearance of the acrylic material, skip this step because it will save you a lot of time. No, no, it's not what it looks like. These are supposed to go on the fingers to prevent causing damage to the electronic components. They really did an outstanding job making the assembly just effortless and genuinely enjoyable. Because of the detailed instructions, literally every single piece was put into place without any questions. At this point it was time to start it up for the first time and what you want to do is test the motors. Navigate through the menu using the slider control, which by the way was really smooth. Go to an option called position and manually move each axis to ensure that everything works properly. 
The Anit A6 has a printing volume of 220 by 220 by 240 and is also equipped with a heated bed which is awesome. When leveling the bed, wherever the position of the nozzle is, no more than a piece of paper should be able to go between them. I then built the filament holder, pushed the included 1.75mm PLA plastic inside the extruder and once again brought the microSD card to my computer where I went to Thingiverse, a website that offers free 3D print files. Searched for a 3D Benchy, downloaded the SDL and opened the file inside my printing software. I am going to use Simplify 3D but feel free to use any of the included softwares provided on the SD card. Insert the card to the motherboard of the printer, go to print from SD and click the file. The printer will initiate the heating process and start printing within a couple of minutes. Less than one hour later, this was the result. It's not perfect, but considering this was the very first print, it's absolutely amazing for the price. Which by the way, right now is only $190. After installing a more efficient cooling nozzle and tuning the settings, I was able to print this. Proper cooling is essential. It's one of the most important things. I highly recommend printing this 360 cooling nozzle. It will greatly improve your printing quality. You can also use a more powerful fan to achieve even better results. The included filament holder sucks. If the extruder struggles with pulling the filament, it will be skipping layers. And that's partly why the boat didn't turn out very good. As you can see, parts of the layers has been skipped, most likely due to the filament holder. This is a filament holder that uses bearings for a smoother rotation of the spool and is attached to the printer to make sure the filament doesn't tangle. I will leave links to all the prints you have seen in this video down below in the description. Feel free to drop a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more. I believe there's a time we will be free.